It's a video on the things that go wrong with the shoulder and how a physiotherapist would assess it. We are Witty Pask in Buckingham, Chartered Physiotherapist in Northampton. We have been the lead in physiotherapy clinic in the region for 40 years. We treat bone, joint, muscle, tendon, ligament and nerve issues all over the body. Using manual and manipulative treatment techniques, shockwave and exercise regimes, we work to get you back to full health as quickly as possible. First we look at range of movement, active range of movement, when we look at full range of flexion all the way to the top and I'm looking at how the shoulder blades moves, how it affects into the back and the neck, drop that down, then out into abduction, looking for any pinch or catch point, you often find an arc halfway through, drop down from there, we look then at external rotation range, and then hand behind back uh, as the basics through there. Where patients feel pain in the shoulder is often down on the outside of the arm because it's where the rotator cuff refers into. The rotator cuff are these four muscles which hold the arm bone into the shoulder blade. And the one that causes most problems is supraspinatus, one that sits in over the top of here and gets pinched between the top of the shoulder blade here and the top of the arm bone. You'll feel that in that area with its bursa that sits over the top. You also have long head of biceps, which is the top of your biceps from the front here, and you feel that much more into the front of the arm. And you can also have issues at the back of the shoulder, more with the rotator cuff as well, um, and other more traumatic muscular type problems through there. When a physiotherapist looks at the shoulder, there are many different tests that we can do, many special tests to particularly target different structures that we think may be involved, dependent on the subjective uh, assessment that we've uh, taken from the patient. They could be things like empty can tests, which is looking at stability and strength through particular muscles in the rotator cuff, impingement tests, other tests through testing long head of biceps, and many other ones to do with the integrity of the joint all of which we would run through specific to that patient at the time. When assessing the shoulder, there are there many structures in there, so we need to try and find those and palpate those and see if that corresponds with the pain. The rotator cuff, you'd be able to find around over the top part of the joint. You may put the arm in different positions to say find supraspinatus as it rotates around to the front. You'd be able to find long head of biceps tucked in here as well. You'd come underneath front part of the acromion to try and find the bursa, see if that's particularly sore. You'd also come up onto the AC joint, palpate, mobilize around there, particularly if it's been a fall on the shoulder itself. Also in and around the back for infraspinatus, teres major, lots of different areas, lots of different bits of palpation, quite difficult to identify those structures, so careful palpation is, is essential. Whenever assessing the shoulder, we also need to look carefully at the neck and at the ribs and the nerves that come down and out from the neck and the nerves that follow down into the arm. Uh, referral down over the outside of the arm, as we talked about, is quite common. Um, and we need to check there's no cervical nerves that are being impinged and, and causing that. And you'd look at range of movement by looking over this shoulder and then over the other way and see if we've got good full range of the movement. And we'd look at breathing patterns, take a deep breath in and just seeing if that rib lifts up and down and we'd look at nerve number of nerve tests as well uh, just to look at how they all slide and glide. Passive movement in the shoulder is important we need to assess range of movement particularly of rotation have we got good range through there what happens with the shoulder in there both actively and passively so if you take it through we need to see how well the shoulder controls through there we'd also look at length through pecs what happens up into flexion what ranges we have through here and we'd also look at some very specific nerve tests in those positions as well. So there's lots of things that can go wrong with the shoulder, there's lots of things a chartered physiotherapist can help you with and to treat or we can help with on referrals for orthopaedic surgeons or uh, scans and investigations etc. Come and see us and we can get it assessed.